Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make your own Pixark server so you can have your own private little world for just you and your friends. I wish I had some to play with. So if you want to install your Pixark server on the PC that you're using now, or a spare PC running Windows 10, you can use PowerShell to install Hyper-V. Enable dash Windows, option, hit tab, it'll complete. Windows optional feature, uh, you want online, feature name, Microsoft Hyper-V dash all. So that will install Hyper-V for you and I'll link down in the comments, just a tutorial on how to install uh, your first VM in Hyper-V. Microsoft Azure, you can create an Azure free account today. So basically go azure.microsoft.com, there'll be a link there and you can come in, do your free trial, you hit start free, you go through a few, you know, follow the bouncing ball, fill out your details and that sort of thing. Now it will ask for a credit card, but it will not charge you anything. You will get $200 of free credits. It uh, is 30 day trial. So that's $200 of credits. You can actually do quite a bit with $200 in a month. I know because that's my monthly credit that I get uh, on my Visual Studio account. So we'll see virtual machines on the side here. I've got some, some, one, some that I've played with, some Minecraft, Pixar, that sort of thing. Now, one thing you'll notice, they're all stopped because I'm not using them. Uh, the reason you stop them is they stop costing you money when they're stopped deallocated. Uh, the only thing you'll pay for then is storage. So anything that you keep on the disks, you'll be paying for at the storage cost, which isn't a lot of money at all. Uh, and you'll only pay for the compute hours or minutes uh, as they're running. So uh, what we're going to do, run up a VM. It's very easy. Add a VM. We want Windows Server 2016 data center. So create that. Fill in the name. So we're going to call this the PixArc Demo. I'm just going to use standard hard disk, it's cheaper and it actually performs well. Uh, give it a username, it's my name, a password, choose uh, my enterprise account, I'll create a new resource group, Pixar demo. Now we choose our size. D2, V3 is what I want. So, so we're going to choose that one. Select. It's a gaming machine. We don't need to worry about availability zones. So we're going to leave that an availability sets. We'll leave those to no. Manage disk. Yes, use manage disk. It's the modern way to do everything. If you don't have any VNet set up, just leave those as defaults. And so by default, it will have your RDP. We'll want to add a rule. So what we want is custom service port ranges are going to be uh, 27015 to 27018. So this is um, ports for Steam and Pixark server. Now, enable auto shutdown. Now, this is good um, to save you money in case you forget. This will automatically shut down that VM into that deallocated state to save you money. Uh, I don't need any diagnostics or anything on there because that all just adds extra consumption and storage and that sort of stuff. And we don't need that. It's just a gaming server. Uh, you can enable backup if you really want to. Uh, They've got some pretty good resiliency in Azure. Like I haven't had a server fail for any reason other than the admins that log onto the box causing problems. And away we go. Running the final validation. So now it's going to go on create. So what we'll do now is uh, I'll just skip to the end of that. It shouldn't take too much longer. 
Okay, so now our server's built. That took around about 10 minutes. Uh, one thing you need to take note of here, if you just left it on that screen, it should take you straight to the server once it's built. You'll see the public IP address here. Uh, you'll want to copy that and take note of it for later. There are other ways, of course, to find your public IP address. I'll show you that as well. Uh, hit connect. It'll pull down an RDP file. You will click on that, launch it, connect, and log in. Now, what you'll have to do is type in dot slash to say to tell the RDP client you want to use the local account. It's not a domain joined or anything like that. Type in the username and password from before. Yes, connect. So now this is the desktop of the VM that we've just created. So this is very similar to Windows 10 being Server 2016. Now, if you are running Server 2016, one thing you'll need to remember is you'll need to go into the Server Manager, which is right on the screen now. Click on Local Server there. You'll need to go over to IE Enhanced Security Configuration, and you'll need to click on that, and you'll turn that to Off for Administrators. Uh, you're logged on as an administrator by default. Close that. That is because now we need to install DirectX. Now the link will be below for DirectX. You need to download that. Just paste it in there. That should be fine. Run that. It will install DirectX, which isn't anything special. Yes, I accept the agreement because I'm. I swear I read that and I've read that before and I, I know what it says. So that's fine. We can wait for this to install, which will, I'll skip right to the end, so you don't need to watch this happen. Okay, so that's finished. Now be aware that this is only needed for Server 2016. Windows 10 would have DirectX by default. Hit finish, close that. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is open PowerShell and run it as administrator. So click the start menu, you'll see Windows PowerShell, right click that, more run as administrator. Now in PowerShell you'll see below, there will be a script that I've put there just to make this nice and quick, so you don't need to uh, waste your time just paste that in there by click, right clicking. It'll download the Steam CMD, set up the firewall rules, the Windows Defender exclusion, and then you'll see down below, it'll ask for some settings for your game. So max players will say, all right, seven. Session name, stack use demo, password, not really important. This is just for admin commands in game. And a name for your world. All right, at this point, it needs to log into Steam and download the binary. So you need to put in your username and password. And that'll now open up and start pulling things down. Now it will fail and stop at one point which will be coming up in just a second, and there it is, the Steam Guard code. You'll need to go to your email registered under your Steam account and grab the code from there. Input that and hit enter, and it'll go off and do the rest for you. So this will pull down all the binaries, install everything, uh, so it's all ready to go. And if you have a look up on the desktop there, the script has gone and created a shortcut for launching the server. So you have to wait until this completes downloading. And once that's all finished and this window will close, then you can double click on that and launch the server. And there we have it. So it's installed and that window's closed. And now we have here Pixar server. So you double click that, it will flick up and then it will bring this up. So this console is for the first time you load it generating the world. So this will take give it a roughly roughly 10 minutes and if you open your performance monitor under task manager here you will watch and notice that the cpu will slowly creep up and then bang at 100 percent and it will sit there and grind away for a while uh, and then once that's done you'll see the cpu will ramp back down and the next time you launch from that shortcut it won't do that again because the world's already been generated uh, and you'll just be able to log on. So for this point, we'll come back in 10 minutes and see how it is. And there's that big spike in CPU. So the next thing that you want to do is add your server into Steam. So open up Steam, go to View and Servers. Make sure you're on the Favorites tab. Click Add Server. 
and then put in your server IP address and then follow it by colon 27016 and hit add this address to favorites and hit refresh. And there it is, Daku's demo just as expected. So we can close that and launch PixArc. Away we go. Okay, so now we've got PixArc running. Click join PixArc. Now, normally it'll be on your official servers here. That's all your server list of all the public servers. If you go down to your favorites there, there's Daku's demo. The seven player maximum that we specified. And we can hit join. Now I've got my save preset so we don't need to go through the whole character creation here. So now first time someone's logging onto the server, we're there. Now well, that was nice and simple. I mean setting up the VM is the probably the longest part of this. Uh, just basically install DirectX, run that script and log in to Steam via the script, you, you're on, it's running. Um, if you, Like I said, if you're using the Azure VM, when you're done, uh, you can just go to the Azure console and shut down the machine, make sure it says stopped and deprovisioned, and you're not paying for it anymore. Uh, you only pay for the storage of the actual disk that runs the VM. Uh, and then start it up when you want to play it. Uh, do check the public IP uh, because they're not static by default unless you specify that you want your public IP to be static it will potentially change so you'll have to give people the new public IP. Uh, if you're going to get real serious about it you can create a DNS entry and get a static IP so you can use a name. Now I'm going to get out of here because things will probably kill me. But look, just running around I just leveled up. Isn't that lovely? Well, that's the end of that demo, so thanks for watching and uh, I hope you have some fun in Pixar. I, uh, I plan to. <laughs>